And before I even start the video, before I start the vlog, I'm coming to you guys bare face, nothing on, no makeup, because I want to tell you guys, you are beautiful just the way you are. When you wake up and roll out of bed, that is your natural, beautiful self. Now I'm out here looking like revenge, feeling like a 10, the best I ever been. And yeah, I know how bad it must hurt to see me like this, but it gets worse. Now you're out here looking like regret, ain't too proud to beg, second chance you'll never get. And yeah, I know how bad. I wanted to show you guys my breakfast that is amazeballs. So, turkey bacon. Um, sorry, my fork is dirty. I picked up that rotisserie Costco chicken. Um, and egg whites with power greens. And I made these Kodiak power muffins um, the other day. I made triple berry ones. And then I added a laughing cow wedge on top with a couple blueberries. And then I'm going to add some syrup onto that. You guys, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hungry these days. But seriously, so amazing. <laughs> um, normally when I bake, I use micronutrients and I'll have like um, zucchini added into the um, muffins or something just because you can get your micronutrients without even tasting it and it actually adds moisture. I didn't do these for that one, but um, I didn't do that for this recipe, but I will show you guys how I do it. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is amaze balls. Yeah, okay, let me eat this. By the way, it is, what time is it? 1.30, is that the right time? Yeah. It's 1.30, and I'm having my first meal of the day. However, I did have coffee this morning with um, creamer, so that actually broke my fast. And yeah, so I'll go into that intermittent fasting video, um, and I'll tell you why it breaks the fast when you have coffee with creamer. And then these, you guys, I'm addicted. We bought four yesterday. So, okay, I'm gonna eat this. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to today's video, today's vlog. Today is Tuesday, August 28th. And before I even start the video, before I start the vlog, I'm coming to you guys bare face, nothing on, no makeup, because I wanna tell you guys, you are beautiful just the way you are. When you wake up and roll out of bed, that is your natural, beautiful self. I see so many people in this fitness industry forget who they really are inside. And I just want to share with you guys that what I've learned is that number one, your inner beauty has to shine and surpass anything that you have on the outside or parents. I see so many people who like build up their confidence and it becomes to like a cockiness and I don't see any reason for that. Is it good to accomplish the body that you've always wanted? Heck yes. Is it amazing to strive for the body um, and to keep working at it for the body that you feel that you want, heck yes, there's no, there's nothing wrong with you going for your goals and feeling like your best version of yourself that you've ever been. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is don't forget who you are on the inside. And the days that you feel like you're not as confident or you had a low, uh, bad weight in, uh, something you weren't expecting, um, just remember you guys, your inner beauty has to be number one. It has to surpass anything on the exterior. You can't let that beauty on the outside surpass what you really are on the inside. Don't forget who you are. Stay humble. And the reason I'm sharing you guys, sharing this with you guys, because I feel like I tend to lose sight of like the fact that I've hit and accomplished all these goals and like I still feel like it's not good enough. I'm like, I need more, I need more, I need goals, 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 goals. And I forget like Colleen, what are you doing? You are so beautiful inside. You don't need to stress so much about your body all the time. Although it's good to feel good and feel like you look good, I, of course I want that. But I tend to forget like where I started and that I was beautiful back then when I was over 200 pounds and I'm freaking beautiful now. So anyone who's watching this, anyone who struggles with confidence issues or anyone who struggles with body image, just remember you guys, your confidence and your beauty comes from the inside more so than the outside, no matter what. Remain beautiful in the inside. If you become a top 10 that you've ever been in your life and you feel like you're on top of the world but you're, you're acting different to the world and you're being mean and being rude and cruel and putting others down because they're not living the life that you live, 
Like that's ugly. I don't care how beautiful you are or how good of a body you have. That is ugly to me. So I wanna share with you guys, remain loyal to yourself who you normally are. You are gonna change throughout your journey. You're gonna have different interests, different um, likes. You're gonna have things that take up your time differently. Everything will change. And um, it's natural, but as long as you don't change on the inside and you don't treat others differently than you normally would, that's beautiful. I just wanna share that with you guys because I feel like we tend to get carried away and it's the fitness like world is all about like how good you look and it is about like you want to look good. That's like normal. But there comes a point in time where you got to sit back and go whoop, reflect back like who the hell am I really? Why am I doing this? Why? What am I here for? What's my purpose? Yes, to accomplish my goals. Yes, that's cool and all. But along the way, don't forget who you really are. I just want to share that with you guys. Before I did my makeup and did my hair and, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys. You're beautiful. So, welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> now that we got the inner beauty out, <laughs> the inner beauty talk out, let's start the vlog. Today is Tuesday, August 28th. Um, I think I said that earlier. Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am all about counting my macros, having a flexible diet or flexible lifestyle, showing you guys how I balance everything with being a mother and wife. And um, yeah, so it's just about the family life, fitness life, wife life, all that good stuff. I share recipes, I share, I just share my life basically. So welcome to my channel. To all the returning, to all the returning subscribers, what's up guys? How you doing? <laughs> So, I'm gonna get this day started. The kids are all at school. I'm gonna finish doing some makeup on myself. I'm kinda like, hmm, do I really wanna do face makeup or do I just wanna do no face makeup? I don't know, but I have something big to share with you guys and I'm gonna share with you that in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little life update on what I have been up to and why you guys may have not seen any workouts from me. So, I had a scar revision from a previous tummy tuck that I've had. If you guys have been following me um, for a while, you guys know that I've had um, a tummy tuck in, I think it was 2014. And then um, I had a scar revision, long story short, I had a scar revision and um, that scar did not heal well at all. Like I started going to the gym too soon. I started trying to do abs too soon. I was so focused on getting competition ready that I just kind of like erased the recovery process so, so bad on my part. So I went back to the doctor and um, he injected steroids into the scar area in hopes that it would lighten. Well, it, it widened a lot and it made a dip in my body like so let me show you guys so it was creating a dip right here right where my I guess <laughs> vagina is <laughs> and my lower abdomen so um I was like not even comfortable wearing a bikini and I just felt like so self-conscious because I'm like oh man all this money I paid and I'm so stupid I should have rested and recovered and not focused on my competition like I'm beating myself up about it and so I went back to the doctor and he was like the only thing we can do is to um, do a scar revision and I was like mm, not again I don't want to go through that and so long story short I thought about it went to a different consultation because he said we can do it in um, within the um, office in office which didn't need like any anesthesia and I'm like, the scar's too big to be done in office. Like, just something was like, ugh, something just felt off. So I went to another doctor and um, love her. You guys are gonna get to meet her soon. She's gonna let me interview her for YouTube and she's gonna talk all about cosmetic surgery and the, the good, bad, and the ugly, when to do it, when not to do it, and all that. And I'm gonna give you guys my personal um, intake or my, per my personal input on cosmetic surgery and the good, bad, and the ugly, when and when not to do it. <laughs> so she's amazing. She lifts weights. She's about them gains. I love her. She's so awesome. So enough about her. Um, <laughs> um, so basically, um, she recommended a scar revision, and um, this was a pretty good chunk of scars, so it had to be removed. So I was going to have a drain have to be put back in, and it was just like... 
I didn't want to do it until like October, November. So um, I was just like going through it in my head and I was stressing out about it. And I went back for another consultation, paid another um, consultation fee. The first one is free, the second one you have to pay. And this scar was so bothering me that I'm like, I need, I need another opinion. I need to talk to her again. <laughs> so I went back to her and um, like, it was like coincidence. She had an opening coming up and I was like, ah, so I took it and I did it. And now I'm recovering from my scar revision. Let me show you guys how low it is and how exciting it's going to be to be able to wear a bikini and it not bother me and my skin not dip in. It was so, it was like, you could see it in my pants. That was not cool. So I have to wear one of those, um, binders and I'm wearing a pregnancy binder guys. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so let me show you how low the scar is though. Super exciting. So here's my underwear line, which my underwear will now cover it before it did not cover. Can't show you guys too much. So the scar sits right here where my underwear line is. Oh, sorry. My scar sits right there where the underwear line is. And um, as you guys can see, let me show you. There's no more dip. It's That's what's been going on with me and um, I've been open and honest about like my tummy tuck. I have no shame in it. If you've been over 200 pounds, have had three cesareans, been overweight your entire life, that kangaroo pouch had to go. It was pure skin. It was not fat. So I'm excited about the results, um, but I am going to be in recovery mode for uh, another two weeks. I cannot work out. I just got my drain taken out on yesterday so i feel like a brand new woman that drain was tugging and oh yeah um anyhow i'm really happy with the results i kind of picked the wrong timing to do it but it was like fate at the moment so um yeah that's what's been going on with me so that's why you guys have not seen any workouts and i apologize nobody even knew not even my family just like my husband and then I came home and I told the kids, oh, I got a scar revision. I'm like, I'm a rebel like that, you guys. I do stuff like, I don't know, just always been that way. <laughs> I'm very spontaneous, very, very spontaneous. So I'm gonna take you guys through the recovery process with me and um, I wanna share with you guys, do not ever rush recovery. You pay a lot of money for cosmetic surgery and it should be something taken very seriously. And when I do the interview with Dr. Tower, I will um, let her give you her input um, from a doctor um, surgeon standpoint, and then I'll give you from a patient standpoint. So it's gonna be amazing. So we are gonna start focusing on recipes and recovery and all that other good stuff that I'm gonna have vlogging for you guys. I'm gonna um, show you, talk to about talk to you guys about intermittent fasting. So yeah, I've been talking for almost six minutes now. Okay, peace, I'll talk to you in a bit. I got played. The school called me saying that Colin didn't feel good. So I went to go pick him up. Let me show you how good he does not feel. Did the BCAs make you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh, by the way, guys, check this picture out when I had red hair. Ah! Well, my family, I just love them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get started on making the muffins. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some kind of protein. I'm using the Kodiak Power Cakes. Normally, I would probably go for a gluten-free option, but this is what I have, so that's what I'm making. I have a berry mix. This is just a Kirkland brand, organic zucchini, one little thingy of applesauce, two things of the sweetened, um, low-calorie sweetener, the monk fruit, which is zero calories, sorry. Kirkland egg whites, cinnamon, and vanilla extract so this is everything that i'm going to be using and i'll get started
take away the tartness of the berries. And now I'm going to add all the ingredients together. And you also see me make baby food. <laughs> um, I normally put the applesauce separate, but since it needs to liquefy, I just put it all together. So it's going to be very creamy, like baby foodish. So I'm going to include everything together in a bowl, and I'll show you how I put the berries. I'm making the muffin, protein muffin. Okay, I'll show you now. muffins I just did this for um, <laughs> for picture purposes for Instagram this is the one that I made last week by the way you guys um, this these ones the ones that I made today they came out a little bit smaller because I think I used four scoops of the power Kodiak cakes um, so it's totally up to you you guys can use an extra scoop of protein for added protein or you can use another um, scoop of the Kodiak cakes and that's gonna bring your carbs a little bit higher. I will have the macros when I put the vlog out. So there you go. Muffins are done. I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, I will have all the macros during the vlog. So look out for the macros. And you are more than welcome to switch up the ingredients and like play with it. Maybe add a little lime juice. I think that would be so good. <gasps> Maybe I could do like a lemon poppy seed recipe. That'd be cool. Anyhow, I want to know what do you guys want to see? For what I have coming up on the vlog is going to be, um, where are my notes? I have a little chalkboard with all my notes. <laughs> oh, the next one is going to be intermittent fasting, how, when, and why to do intermittent fasting. And then I'm going to have a really cool series on motivational women. I have a couple women that I'm going to be interviewing and I'll be showing you what their business is how they started it from nothing to something. So I have so many plans for the blog, for the vlog, but I wanna know what do you guys wanna see? What do you guys need? I totally wanna listen to what you guys want. I'm not here for me, I'm here for you guys. So there's that. And I just really quick wanted to take a moment to um, pay a little respect to Rich Piana. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, he is the founder, he created 5% um, 
nutrition. He created 5% um, supplements. He is a public known bodybuilder and he's been in the fitness industry for, oh my God, since he was 17, 16, 18 years old and he died um, recently at 46 years old, I believe it was. And he was a huge, huge motivator for me. Like, I get teary I just thinking about it because I remember back in 2013, it was my first LA Fit Expo and I was walking by and I was like, whoa, whoa those are some ginormic muscles. Like, at that point in time, I was not into like, um, weightlifting like I think I had just tried it a couple times and he is the one who actually inspired me to like oh my god this is what the human body can do granted everyone has their you know he he is known for doing steroids and he's never hid that and you know I've had got I gotten some like negativity about um about me posting about him and I've blocked people from it because someone who's passed away doesn't deserve to be talked negatively on no matter what they did in their past life that has nothing to do with how they, you know, how they passed has nothing to do with how you should feel about someone passing away. And like, I don't know, like you just don't pick on people who are, who are no longer with us, you know? So it's just like, to me, ugh, I just was so irked at that. But I loved Rich Piana. I, he was so motivating for me in so many ways because of him, I got into the whole like, muscle building and and like changing your body seeing what it can do and I started watching his YouTube videos and he's such a smart man like business wise and he created this empire from nothing and you know what like that's so inspirational and motivating for me and every time I've gone to the expo he has always been so humble and relaxed and chill. He doesn't feel like, he doesn't make you feel like you're rushing through, like he's rushing you through his line. He just is so genuine. And like the fitness world needs more people like him. And it's so sad that he's no longer with us. I took so many pointers from his videos. And so um, I just want to take a moment to pay some respect to him. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of our pictures from the past expos. And he's a pretty amazing man, you guys. I will link his um, channel below. And you, are, you guys are going to see some of it. You're going to be like, oh my God, this guy's crazy. And some of it you're going to be like, damn, he is so motivating. Like whatever it takes, he did whatever it took to get to where he wanted to be. And whether he had steroids whether he may have been doing something else at the time that he passed away who knows that's neither here nor there but to me he was an inspiration a motivation and it's really sad to see him go so i will show you guys a little bit of my journey following rich piana and if you guys have a chance take a look at his channel it'll be in the description box sad emotions he would want me to stay focused and keep my eye on the prize and do whatever it takes to accomplish my goals so that's what I'm gonna do love you Richie P rest in peace so thank you guys for joining me on this vlog um, if you guys have any questions that you would like me to answer in my cosmetic surgery vlog please feel free to do so I believe I'll be inter interviewing her within the next two weeks and I will have that ready for you guys um, if you're thinking about cosmetic surgery um, let me know what kind. I get a lot of questions about who to go to, what to look for, who, how many, how many um, um, consultations do you go, to, do you have to go to? I get asked so much that this is going to be like a really, really good vlog to do. Not to mention my plastic surgery doctor. She's a weightlifter. Hello. That's awesome. <laughs> plastic surgery doctor. Like if I have a bunch of like fake plastic on me. What's the difference between plastic and cosmetic? 
I think, I don't know. I guess I should ask that, right? <laughs> I'd say cosmetic is altering the body and plastic is enhancing the body. Mm. Anyhow, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you enjoyed the life update. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I love you all. Thank you so much. I will catch you in the next one.